All right, guys, Retro here. Retro Reviews here <laughs> with another Transformers video review, and this time we're doing Wave 2 now of all of Cybertron figures, so which Wave 2 being the Bruticus set, I've got the retail ones, so we're going to go ahead and do that, starting off with their leader, Onslaught. As you can see here is a truck mode loosely based off of the one in both games because he was available for DLC on War for Cybertron. However, I say loosely because, yeah, he's got a lot of open space back here, which looks ugly. You can see Bruticus's head, hand sticking out. It just looks horrible. So I'm going to get through this as quick as I can. Nice Decepticon logo right there. The colors on this one are not as bad as the rest of them. So, I'll just let you keep that in mind right now. He does roll. And he does have this cannon here, which is sticking up and going down. You can't move. It's pegged in and doesn't really do much. So, what is that? For, yeah. So, on to transformation now. We're going to go ahead and take off this cannon. Set it off to the side and oh my god, leave this on for robot for vehicle mode. It's necessary as you can see. And then what I like to do is I like to take the arms, fold them out, straighten them up, come back here, and there's clips right in here on this big black piece, which we're not gonna use for right now, and you want to unclip them and go ahead and also rotate the waist around like that. Take this black piece, fold it up. Eh, not that far, but that far. Wait, you wanted it. Bruticus's head folded in first and then locked into place, which automatically whips out Onslaught's head. And then his legs, you just wanna rotate around like that. Straighten him up a little bit so he can stand. And then pretty much just come down here and rotate these around. And you're done. There is Onslaught, the first Combaticon. A very nice, although very, in his robot mode, just very thin proportions on him. Which both him and Bruticus could have both benefited out of having some beefier proportions but whatever here is his gun now which he does he can hold on to that's pretty much its only use in this mode there's nowhere for it to plug in behind him in the onslaught mode but there is for the bruticus mode so just plug that in his hand right there Side-by-side -side comparison, here he is with Optimus Prime. Optimus being quite a bit shorter than Onslaught. I'll go ahead and put him with Shockwave, since I do prefer Shockwave proportions and everything better. But again, a bit taller. <laughs> so yeah, there's Onslaught. Not very much to say about him. If you're planning on getting Bruticus, uh... It's a mixed bag. There is three different versions out now just for Bruticus and then another one coming out for uh, Runition as a Wreckers team, I believe his name is, Runition. Either way, there's this version, a game accurate colored version and a G2 version of just Bruticus out. So go with what paint color you like for whatever ones. If you like the retail ones, if you could deal with the retail ones, go ahead and get them. If you can paint the retail ones like I intend to, you get them. Otherwise, I'd go with the other ones because it's just going to get worse. Onslaught and Swindle are the best looking ones out of this line. Or out of retail-wise, Wave 2. So, yeah, just letting that out in there right now. Also forgot to mention his details. Very nice sculpted head. Looks perfect, even on a ball joint, 
Shoulders are swiveled from the transformation joint. Elbows are also there's a uh, ball joint right here on above the elbow as well as a hinge fixed uh, wrist. Waist is on a very, very limited swivel, then double hinged, uh, or triple hinged, I guess, hips, that's what they're called, then hinge in the knee, fixed ankles, so not very poseable either. Probably possibly one of the weakest ones. So I'd only suggest this guy if you are planning on getting the rest of the Bruticus set. Otherwise, stay away from him, really. Anyways, this is Raptor Reviews, and I hope you guys like this video review, and I'll see you again next time.